Behind these doors, Air Guns of Arizona and Precision Air Gun Distribution are holding a school for some of their Day State dealers. And this morning, they've asked me to take you guys along with. Now, this is going to be pretty rough cut, but if you listen careful, there'll be some really nice takeaways in there for you. Coming up. AEAC is made possible by JSB Match Diablo, H&N Sport, Predator International, Air Arms, Crossman Corporation, Day State, FX Air Guns, Sports Match Rings UK, Rapid Air Weapons, and Aztec Optics. And you guys know the best way to thank them. Appreciate your attendance. I know some of you have traveled a long way. We will do our best to make this uh, the next few days fun, uh, exciting, and informative. I'll tell you this much. I mean, it allows you to access all the three power stages in the gun and then increase or decrease accordingly. You're going to have a practical limit, obviously, based on the uh, on the uh, abilities of the gun as far as the transfer port and the initial barrel length and all that. But within reason, you can increase or decrease, you know, on those parameters. So, yeah. It's exciting. And what I just found out, I didn't find this out, is it works on the older models too, like the standard Airwolf MCTs, that type of thing. These are going to have four position power adjuster. Okay. Okay. Big upgrade from before. Right now these have seven. They're not going to be that. They're going to be four. Seven really didn't, there wasn't too much variance in there. So they're going to be four position. If you pass it around and feel it, definite I detail can hear the clicks. Detail. Yeah, yeah you can hear it <laughs> from here. And you didn't think to wear your day state shirt. Oh, good lord. Sure, we can find one of those pink ones for you, Mike. Yeah, we should make him wear a pink one. Let's make him wear a pink one. We should. That'd be great. A small. And you wanted to do a, you know, you were doing a resale on the regulator and you're replacing all the O rings and all that. And you said, you know, I want to put the regulator back in. That way I don't have to worry uh, about. Yeah. You can, you can go yeah. ahead and, and take it and you can go ahead and put, and put the regulator back in. This is a handheld tuner for the MK series. Day State rifles, uh, pretty much take your Allen wrenches so and throw them out the door. Poles, poles. Yeah. So this is you this can is, uh, adjust your power settings, make custom tunes, and uh, just configure the rifle to uh, make it your own rifle. So we're gonna go. It's going to take competition shooting to the next level. This is our first of hopefully many and growing uh, events for uh, for the Day State Owners Club. I lay that on there, I'll start my screws. I won't tighten them at all, but I'll start them and I'll have all four of them basically. I'll start them, make sure that they're in alignment, make sure everything's good to go. And then at the point where I'm going to go ahead and, and tighten, you're gonna to have to cock the gun. The trigger unit will actually fall into place and then you'll, you'll go ahead and tighten the four screws. Right, what's your favorite air gun? Yeah, the one in my hands. My Wolverine, well, yeah, the one, my Wolverine R. Quítalo. Está mal ahí. Ah, estoy sacando la base. Está bien, está bien. Okay, now, right here. You put okay, everybody look right in there. Okay. Yeah. Flies down. How do you say your flies down in Spanish? Your what? Your zipper. Ah, yeah. To zipper. Good? Everything yeah. under control? Yeah. Okay. So it will, it will shut it off. Is there a red wolf? It's the cheapest gun on the market. Yeah, you just hit the, hit the you buy one gun and you get 21 different guns with it. It's very interesting this class of programming because it allows us to access the electronic rifle, tanto de los Pulsar como de los nuevos eh, Red Wolf y cambiar la programación, irnos eh, a los valores eh, high power, medium y low power y hacer los cambios que nosotros queramos para tener un rifle mucho más eficiente. Es algo complicado a lo primero, pero pues ahorita nos están enseñando a hacerlo y va a ser una herramienta realmente muy muy buena pues para todo lo que es la programación y el buen desempeño de los rifles Daystay. ¿no?
Sí, la verdad es algo nuevo para mí. He acostumbrado a trabajar con rifles solamente con reguladores manuales. Vamos a tener la posibilidad de las personas que, que tengan un day state electrónico eh, de poder ayudarlos si quieren aumentar o bajar la velocidad a la velocidad que ellos estimen conveniente. Si quieren usar en 12 foot pounds, probablemente también se lo vamos a poder programar. Está muy interesante. And what do you do for a living, Robert Buchanan from Phoenix, Arizona? I import my company along with a, a team of very, very good men, uh, import and distribute air rifles uh, into America, Canada, and South America. And what would be the name of that company? Uh, air Guns of Arizona. So Brocock has always kind of been the second in line to Day State. Now Day State owns that and has obviously well, brought Brocock, the quality. Old Brocock was not second. Right. And just by but the just, way, yeah. it was old. Well, since, let's put it, since Day State has yeah. Yeah. Yes, got a hold of this thing, you can even touch it They moved it up the to quality the, in that. They right brought there. it up to the top of the list. As a fellow that's pretty computer illiterate, I feel like I have mastered it, but I've, 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 I've got to the point where I could reprogram my own gun with this. It's a uh, it's kind of neat. You've got some different settings you go into as far as pulse length, the high pressure point, and the voltage setting. And by varying those parameters, you can uh, custom tune your own power setting for the rifle. So this is an exciting little deal. Hopefully we'll have them in the shop soon, and we'll, we'll keep you posted on pricing and availability. With the human regulator in it, these are not out in production yet. This is a pre-production model. Um, these should be out in about two to four weeks uh, for retail sale. And uh, it's, it's a big improvement on this gun. It's almost doubled the uh, amount of shots that we were getting out of the original Bantam. Uh, all right, we'll come back to that one. Michael Went, what do you do for a living? <laughs> I'm the owner of the Air Gun Nation Forum. Uh huh. You like that line of work? Absolutely. Does it keep you busy? <laughs> yes, it does. What do you love about it? Well, they say if you do what you love, then it's not really a job, so. Uh -huh. When I call you, like five times a day, does it, does it feel like a job? <laughs> Oh, only after 10 p.m. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ask again. You're a terrible translator. No, no, no. Now, if you're, you're finding that you're feeling a lot of air pressure, uh, like a puff of air coming out, uh, there's going to be a little air because what this, how this gun works is if you, when the magazine is in here, you have a little pin that comes up every time you shoot the gun, and, it, and, it, and, it, and it acts, the actuator it actually hits it, and of course it rotates the magazine to the next pellet. These MP models, they have their power settings, power setting one, two, and three, and you can set it up your individual custom power settings, or you can set it up to say that power setting one is Okay, and uh, then you're going to have competition uh, mode. You're going to be doing long distance shooting with it. But then, on the other hand, you can have that. Then your your, your middle section could be um, in backyard plinking. So I need it kind of friendly. So you can set the gun up to that at a lower setting. Then you, you know the third setting, which is your lower power setting, you could set it up. To say I'm shooting birds inside of a barn, and I don't want to penetrate what's behind the bird, you know, and you can take it all the way down to 12 foot pounds. So you can label these not necessarily high, medium, low, you could go competition, planking, and low power varm, you know, varmint shooting. It's, it, you can make the gun do whatever you want it to do. What would you say the most valuable thing is that you learned this week? How to program the new Red Wolf and Pulsar. What's the coolest thing you learned? Um, the programming on the, the Red Wolf. What's what's the most valuable thing you learned in Day State School this week? Well, the I think the most important for me it's how to make the program and how to change the settings on, on the Red Wolf. What's the coolest thing you learned this week, Sponge? <laughs> the coolest thing I think is probably going to be the ability to program to such a fine level of tuning with the Red Wolf. So you went through the workshop. What was the most interesting thing you learned this week? Oh, by far it was how to uh, program the electronic. <laughs> what, is that what everybody says? Yeah. <laughs> Adjusting the stroke link on that. Now, you get carried away with it, and you can really destroy the curve of the gun. And so, you know, what you're trying to do is you're trying to have a slight curve on, on some of these guns where, you know, on this gun, of course, there's not going to be a curve. It's regulated.
They also increase the size of the caulking knob. Yes. Yeah. Which is fantastic to get a hold of. You're not pinching it with two fingers on a little knob like a lot of air guns. Mm -hmm. This gun is extremely tough and robust gun. Oh, yeah. Push your pellets up here. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I know who this guy is, but you guys don't know who this guy is. Will you please introduce yourself? Okay. Hello. I'm Michele Marocchi. Nice to meet you. I come from Italy and I uh, work for Day State. My family owned Day State since 10 years old, 11 actually this year. Uh, we started 11 years ago with the purchasing of Day State. A couple of years later, we both bought Cock and MTC is the last one that we purchased. I am here at Air Guns of Arizona event with a lot of friends, nice stuff, and uh, to enjoy our PCP Air Guns with in the next few days. Thanks for watching. He's frustratingly fair and honest, so you the consumer, I, I can promise you he does a very, very analytical job on the testing and, um, you know, Steve's a, a very valuable partner for us. Great job, buddy. What's that? Appreciate you, because you do such a good job. <laughs> Between your rifle, if you mess you're, it up, you just hit yes, default sir. settings and start over. Uh, you can't mess it so up. So program. You eat spaghetti in Mexico? Oh, uh, yeah. With really? meatballs? <laughs> really? Yeah. Spaghetti. Chef for your idea, amigo. Spaghetti and but tacos. But I love, I love tacos, burritos, tamales, and Yo, frijoles. Bro. I have some tortillas for you. What is your favorite YouTube channel? Oh, it's got to be uh, A A E A E O C. E I E I O. E I E I O. That's it. E I E I O. Air arms hunting South Africa. And Chihuahuas. You eat Chihuahuas? Chihuahuas. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. Yeah. What's your favorite YouTube channel? <laughs> Yours. <laughs> <laughs> Which is <laughs> like that too. A E A G. Ted's <laughs> holdover. <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm making, no. him, I'm making him nervous. <laughs> What's your favorite online air gun forum? <laughs> That's a trick question. No. That would be the Air Gun Nation forum. Your English, your English has suddenly gotten very good like over the last 15 seconds. <laughs> Have you been playing me all this time? <laughs> all right, who are you? Who am I? I'm Greg Glover with Air Guns of Arizona. And where are you from, Greg Glover with Air Guns of Arizona? I am from Arizona, actually, born native. Uh-huh. And what do you do for a living? I work for Air Guns of Arizona as a general manager.